Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this super, super cute um, ribbon choker. I love this choker. It is great to wear really for any occasion and um, it's actually one of my favorite things to wear. So um, what you're going to need for this is, of course, you're going to need some yarn and I like using um, the shiny yarn for things like jewelry and chokers and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip knot onto my hook right like that and um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a um, chainless single crochet and you see how I'm stretching that right there um, that's what a single single um, or chainless single crochet does is it makes it really stretchy so it makes it super super comfortable to wear this and um, what you're going to need for this is um, of course you're going to need your ribbon and you're going to need your um, you're going to need your yarn to make this. You're going to need a crochet hook. I am using my four millimeter crochet hook there, the blue one, and I'm using my ergonomic hook, but I always use my ergonomic hook. It's my favorite one. You're also, um, you're going to need like a pair of scissors and you're going to need um, your measuring tape also and probably a um, yarn needle and of course ribbon. So um, here, what I'm going to do is this needs to be about 14 inches long, just FYI, when you stretch it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two to start out with. So here I'm just, I've made my slip knot onto my hook. So now I'm just going to chain one and then I'm going to chain two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook into that first chain that I made or the second chain from the hook and I'm going to pull up a loop. So I have two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pull through the first loop on my hook. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to pull through the second loop on my hook. And now I've made my first um, chainless single crochet. And if you don't know how to do this, um, I've got a video and I'll link that below. Alternatively, also, if you want to um, just do a chain stitch and then you can do single crochets all the way down you can do that just make sure at the end of it that it reaches about 14 inches long even if you're trying to stretch it um, it stretches to 14 inches long so you can see there I have two now of the chainless single crochets and then I'm just going to repeat I'm going to insert my hook again and I'm going to um, yarn over and I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull through one loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops. And I'm just gonna repeat that process. For me, this is 51 stitches. So I'm gonna have to do 51 stitches to get it to the length that I need it to be. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out and um, Push the like button if you're liking this video. Ring the bell so you're the first one that um, knows when new videos come out. And I usually try to do at least two to three videos a week. And I've got some really fun new projects coming out. And you don't want to miss those. So here all I'm doing is I am just doing my um, chainless single crochet to 51 um, stitches. And I'm just going to continue working that. And again, if you don't want to do the single, um, the chainless single crochets, what you could do is you could chain to your 14 inches. And then after that, you could um, just do single crochets in that, um, in those chains. And that will give you pretty much it's the same look but um, the advantage of doing the stitches like this the chainless is that it gives you a little bit more stretch which can make it more comfortable for people to wear a chainless um, stitch is my favorite stitch to do on any outfit because it does have a little bit of stretch so it's um, it's way easier for people to wear and to get on and off than just doing a roll of um, chain stitches and then going into your stitch after that. And again, I just think it's it's preferred by me. But you again, you don't have to do that. You can um, just do your chain 
and then work into your chain however many stitches that you need to get to your 14 inches on this project. And after we get our 51 made, what we're going to do is we're going to just chain two and then we're going to turn. Another thing about this one is it's so pretty. You can make it in tons of different colors. And this is a really great seller at a craft show or in the a craft fair or at the marketplace. So it's a great seller. And here I'm getting to the end now. And you can see the stitches that I've made. See how stretchy this is? That's exactly what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to just take my tape measure. And here you can see it's 13 inches right there. But look how nicely it stretches to 14, even just a little bit longer than 14. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And that's why I love the stitch. Now here I'm just going to chain two and I'm going to turn and right there I'm going to do a double crochet in that first stitch. So that chain two does not count as a stitch. So and then I'm going to do another double crochet in that second stitch. So I'm going to do a double crochet here and now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do a double crochet in that third. So I'm going to skip two stitches. I'm going to do a double crochet in that third one right there. So I skip two and I'm just going to do a double crochet in that third stitch. And now after that, I'm going to repeat. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to skip two stitches and then I'm going to do a double crochet in that third stitch. And I'm just going to keep on going in that pattern of chaining two and then doing um, skipping two and then doing a double crochet in the third stitch from the hook there. So again I'm just going to repeat that over and over again until I get all the way to the end. So you're just chaining two, you're skipping two stitches and doing a double crochet in that third stitch from the hook. And um, when you get to the end, if you're a little off, so let's say you don't have um, two stitches remaining, it's okay to do three double crochets at the end, or it's okay to, um, you know, only do only skip one stitch at the end and do a, a, you know, a double crochet in that second one from the hook. So you don't have to frog everything just to make it come out exactly right. But, um, you know, it's going to look nice either way. And again, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about it. It's, you know, nothing's perfect and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's great when it turns out that way, but it doesn't have to be. And so you don't have to do any, um, anything else there. So here I'm just skip two and I'm going to do, and I'm at the end, so I'm going to do a double crochet and then I'm going to do another double crochet in that last stitch right there. So I'm doing another double crochet there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn my work in just a second. But here I'm also going to show you what it looks like right there. So you have the spaces there that the ribbon goes through now. And then I'm going to turn my work and here I'm just going to do single crochets all the way across. So I'm going to, in those double crochets there, I'm going to do one single crochet in each one of those. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two double crochet or two single crochets in that chain space. So, so one for each chain pretty much. So I'm going to do two single crochets there. And then I'm going to do one single crochet in that double crochets. And then I'm going to do two single crochets in that chain two spaces. And I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way down. And I'm just going to repeat that. Just keep on going. And I'm going to keep on just doing um, single crochets. I'm going to do that all the way down. If you don't know how to do um, a single crochet or a double crochet, I'll link that in the description below so you can see what that looks like. And it, of course, at any time, I sped this up a little bit, or a lot actually, um, but if any time you need to um, slow down and just pause the video, please do. Here, I'm just doing single crochets all the way down like I explained before. And um, when I get to the end here, 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off doing my single crochets and then I'm going to um, lay it out flat. I'm going to grab my scissors and cut my yarn. I'm going to try to leave the piece long. I should have left the starting piece long. I'm just a uh, pulling that through there. So I should have left the starting piece long so I could attach my um, yarn needle better and work that through, but I didn't. So now I'm just um, working that through so it doesn't come out. So I'm going one direction and I'm going to go um, the same thing, but the other direction. This way it'll this will be really, really secure. And I don't have to worry about it coming out. So now I'm just going to cut that yarn right there, work it in a little bit, and then I'm gonna do the other side. So same thing here is you just wanna go back and forth, and so it's really, really secure. If you do it one direction and you don't do it the other direction, it really won't set it in place very well. You'll have to, um, it may work out, so like work its way out when someone's wearing it, so you don't want that to happen. So here I'm just going um, back the way I came, and now I'm going to cut my yarn and you see how I was making sure that that was um, that it still stretched the way it needed to stretch even um, after I worked those ends in so now I'm going to get my ribbon and my measuring tape so for this I would say that you need at least 20 to 21 inches of ribbon here um, to secure to really go around someone's neck properly and to leave enough space to tie it now if you wanted it longer of course you could do it longer because it looks cute you just tie it with a little bow in the back and it looks really really cute so here I'm just grabbing and I'm putting pulling my ribbon through and you could do this with the yarn needle if you wanted to so I just pull it through that um, the first two double crochet so i pull it through the middle of those first two double crochets and then after that i'm just weaving it in and out so i'm just going back and forth weaving it in and out of that um, row of double crochets that i made and i'm just going to do that all the way down here and um, you can see it's coming together really nicely there and just again weaving it in and out of those double crochets that I already made or in, that I made in that second um, second row and um, then at the end I'm going to weave it through the two double crochets that I made together and then that's going to be it make sure that you pull it a little bit so it's even on both ends it might look kind of funny if it's not so make sure you pull um, the one end to make sure it's even on both ends and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed making this really cute ribbon choker if you did please subscribe to my channel this is such a great seller at um, craft fair so be sure to like this video so you can come back and make it again later thanks for watching again and happy hooking everybody